Today I am teaching fractions, mixed fractions to improper fractions. Just in case you don't know, I will be telling you what mixed fractions are and improper fractions are. So mixed fractions is when you put the a whole number with a fraction, like three and a half. So three and a half is a mixed fraction. Improper fractions are when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So nine is bigger than seven. Nine is the numerator. Excuse my bad handwriting. And then seven is the denominator. So nine over seven is a improper fraction. So let's start converting from mixed fractions to improper fractions. Let's take the fraction three seven eighths. So three seven eighths, how will we convert that? So what we do is we take the whole number, which in this case is three, and we take the denominator, which in this case is eight. So, and we'd multiply them. So that equals 24. And then we add 24, to 7. 7 plus 24 is 31. So 31 is our new numerator, but the denominator stays the same. The denominator stays the same. Let's do a, another two questions on this, and then we can move on to improper to mixed. So let's do 5 1 half. 5 times 2 whole number times denominator equals 10 and then numerator plus answer equals 11 so 11 has a new numerator and denominator stays the same 11 over 2 let's look at a another question like 3 9 over 15 3 times 15 equals 45 because whole number times denominator 45 and then 45 plus 9 equals 54 54 is our new numerator 15 stays our denominator let's go on to improper fractions we'll be looking at converting improper fractions to mixed numbers and we'll do three examples of that as well so let's take 9 over 4. How will we convert 9 over 4 into a mixed number? So what we will do is we'll go up the times tables of 4 and find the highest number that is under 9. In this case, it'll be 8. Basically, we do 8 divided by 4, 2. Then we do 9 take away 8 equals 1. And then the denominator stays the same. Uh, so let's do another question like 16 over 5. So 5 times 3 15. So we have 3 as our whole number and then 16 take away 15 equals 1. Then we've got 1 and our denominator stays the same. Now let's look at something that's a little bit different. Let's look at 20 over 4. If we go up to that, we can do 4 times 5 equals 20. So 5 is a whole number and 20 take away 20 is 0. So 5 is our answer. We don't get a mixed number here. We get a whole number. So watch out for these types of questions. Thank you for listening to me and I hope you watch another one of mine.